Hello Minecrafters, Arctic Shark Games here coming at you with another Minecraft Bedrock Edition Command Tutorial. Today's tutorial is going to be on counting entities or players or mobs using the test for command and a bit of redstone. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So what we have going on right here is I have a couple of skeletons hanging out in the shade over here so they don't get burnt. I have three skeletons right here to be exact. And over here in my repeat command block we're testing four skeletons and based on how many skeletons are t counted is how much redstone we'll get out of this um, command comparator here. So we have a repeat unconditional always active command and I put a 20 tick delay on this. It's forward slash test four at entity type equals skeleton and then I did radius of 25. You can do any mob type or you could even do um, at P for at player. Um, just to count how many players there are here and stuff like that um, or you could do a DX DY type of area if you wanted a square or you know really any type of thing this is just sort of a generic thing that you guys get the idea and basically what we have going on is you can see right now that I have three skeletons so we have an output of one two three and if I go over here and put down two more skeletons then now I have an output of 5 and you can see typical to redstone signal we can get an output of up to 15 so if we run over here real quick and we put 10 more skeletons in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 sneak one in over here, 10 oh, we got some with some gear too anyways we should have a redstone signal of 15 and if you see that I add an additional skeleton meaning we would have 16 skeletons in here now the 16th guy does not add any more redstone to it. You can only count up to a maximum of 15 at a time. And if we go ahead here and kill all these skeletons, you'll see I have another command set up to make sure that we have at least three skeletons at all times here. When there's not three skeletons, another skeleton will be spawned um, until it gets back up to three. So we'll get rid of our skeletons and we had one more pop up. You can see we have an output of one coming out of the same command there that I showed you earlier. And then an output of two as another one popped up. And an output of three now, which then shuts this redstone torch off, meaning we don't get any more. And we have a command here which is repeat unconditional needs redstone. And I set that at 120 tick delay. And that's forward slash summon skeleton with a set of coordinates. So basically what we have going on here is depending on how many pieces of redstone dust you put in between this comparator and this inverter here, you will get that many skeletons um, being able to be summoned before it shuts off. So this is sort of a safe way to make sure a game or some sort of area has the correct amount of mobs without just summoning limitless mobs in. If you had just set this on a tick delay by itself you would end up just continually spawning mobs in. Um, I would suggest setting these on a higher tech delay like this one here. I would probably set on like 1200 would be a minute. You know, you could you could set it on a much higher tick delay here than I have, um, you know, just to gradually spawn monsters in at your players if that's what you're going for. Um, but, you know, this could be used for a multitude of things and I think it's a good little thing to learn because Bedrock's a little bit limited on testing for players. So this is, I've found, one of the best ways to see how many there are based on the redstone output. Well, in any case, thank you guys very much. If you like the game, or if you like this video, please go ahead and like and subscribe over here at Arctic Shark Games on YouTube and Arctic Shark Games on Twitch.